from visitmysmokies.com. Ho, 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 it's the Funcast, and I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet. Are you seeing this okay? <laughs> I think you could see this. I think this and Rudolph's nose would be the only things that you could see in the middle of a Smoky Mountain Christmas Eve snowstorm, which, by the way, is a possibility that I'll be talking about on this Christmas edition of the Funcast. Uh, yeah, we're talking about a system that will be centered in Minnesota on Wednesday. Now, warm air is going to surge ahead of this on Tuesday and Wednesday, and we're going to be well into the 50s in the smoke. But then the cold front gets into western Tennessee by Christmas Eve morning, and we'll see rain go to snow Christmas Eve. The front's to the east of us in the Smokies by Christmas morning. And I think there's a possibility that we will see anywhere from two to five inches of accumulation around Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. Possibility for even higher amounts up into uh, some of the higher elevations. And we're talking, you know, five to 10 inches. Up, say, on Mount Lacan, I looked at some of the computer modeling for wind chill temperatures in Mount Lacan on Christmas Day. Minus 25 is a number that I saw there. So it's definitely going to be much colder this Christmas than it was last Christmas in the Smokies. So plan accordingly and expect some snow Christmas Eve going into Christmas morning as we go to press here on Monday of Christmas week. Uh, Still plenty to do, of course, in the Smokies, even during the week leading up to Christmas. Yep, there's Ober Gatlinburg. Their snow tubing is sold out through January 3rd, so you need to make your plans if you want to get a spot online. They go into the week before Christmas with a 20 to 30 inch base for skiers, five trails open there. Of course, the intrepid folks are still out hiking. Somebody uh, mentioned the other day that the ice wall on Trillium Gap was covered in huge icicles. Uh, They've been working on that trail for about two years, and I guess it's really looking good and really looking cold. So it's going to be a pleasant week maybe to get out with just a jacket early in the week and enjoy some of those holiday lights, whether they're at Dollywood with the big festival going on there still. Maybe it's the island in Pigeon Forge. They've got millions of lights. Maybe it's the winter of lights at Anakista. Or perhaps you're enjoying the new show at Skylift Park. They've got 40,000 plus lights there, too. Wherever you're going to be this week, it'll be nice and colorful in the uh, Smokies. And this is the kind of weather that you'll have for it, too. This is what I meant about the warm temperatures on Monday and on Tuesday into the 50s, close to 60 on Wednesday. By Wednesday evening, that weather maker will begin to bring us some rain in the Smokies. Rain for Thursday, and at some point, probably late afternoon and evening, a switch over to snow, and then snow in the morning on Friday. The high temperature only right at freezing. And then as we go into next weekend, it's looking dry right now with a little bit of a moderation temperatures back up into the 40s. So careful in the snow as we get close to Christmas. We'll be back after Christmas with our next update. Until then, on behalf of the entire staff of VisitMySmokies.com, all of our best wishes for a Merry Christmas. And we'll see you again before the new year at VisitMySmokies.com.